So like, I guess the only negative thing about it is that I'm no longer able to start my anonymous foot pick business. So, darn. <laughs> oh well. Hello, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jenna, my Instagram is Jenska, and like, subscribe, you know the drill. Okay, there's this little thing that I'm kind of obsessed with, and it is hearing about other people's tattoos, and um, tattoos in general. So that brings us to this video right here, right now. I'm talking about my tattoos. <laughs> I went home yesterday and, or was that two days ago? It was two days ago. I went home to hang out with my mom and brother and we all got tattoos. I vlogged that experience and I will insert that. Hello, this is a vlog. My mom got me to come home today for this weekend um, by saying that we're gonna go get tattoos. And that's exactly what we're doing right now. I'm with my brother and my mother. Here they are. And we are going to get tattoos. How are you guys feeling? I'm a little nervous. A little nervous. First tattoo experience? Yeah. yeah. I'm a seasoned vet, feels like now. <laughs> totally not, but just don't tell us it hurts. It feels like a cat scratch. I don't like cats. No, I didn't say that. I love cats. Cats are wonderful. Their getting is pretty small, so it'll be over before they even like know it started. Did you pick out a font? No, not yet. I have to pick out a font, so I've been like searching Google trying to like figure that out. Okay. Check in later. Well, update. So it was an hour wait and my brother had plans for tonight. Uh, you're seeing a wrestling yes. show? Yes, AEW all, uh, all out. We will be back there tomorrow at noon, right when they open, and we will get all of our tattoos done then. Uh, so for now, I guess this is a, um, yeah, this is it. Cool. Mission. Yeah, that's that's the good that's a good word for it. This is day two, attempt two to get our tattoos. <laughs> wow, I came up with that on the spot. I'm so creative. They open at noon and it is 11:55, so I will continue to vlog later. We just left the tattoo shop. They unfortunately didn't let us film in there, but we took a lot of photos, so I will insert those. Um, mine did not hurt as much as I thought it would. I have loved tattoos forever. When I was in like elementary school, I used to draw them on myself. I think they're beautiful pieces of artwork and self-expression. One little thing though, I don't care if you don't like my tattoos, I don't wanna hear it. I don't like some people's tattoos, but I don't go around telling them. You're welcome to have your own opinions about it. We just don't need to spread negativity. I got what I wanted on my body, and it's my body, I can do what I want. Typically, I'm really hesitant to share this type of thing with the internet because people judge tattoos really harshly, but I love every single tattoo on my body. I already know I'm gonna get more. That is that. I'm just getting wing gaming went how sometimes I just like pick up accents and the first tattoo I ever got I was 19 years old and I got it on my rib cage. I'll insert a clip. This one is Roman numerals on my rib cage on my right side and it says JSXIV with little dots in the middle. I drew it up. I used to draw this in like all my notebooks, all my planners, like always. I knew that this would be my first tattoo. I love it. I've had it for five years now, so it definitely is faded, but I still love it. It represents my family, and yeah, everyone in my family has the initials JS. Moving on to the second tattoo I've ever gotten. <laughs> um, I got a matching tattoo with one of my best friends. 
His name is Jackson. We met one summer doing the ballet intensive with Ballet West out in Utah. We became best friends immediately and then the next year we were like hell yeah <laughs> and we went and got matching tattoos we had been talking about doing this prior to actually like going out to utah we knew we wanted moons it's fun i love it it's really well done i got mine on my right side and he got his on his left and i will insert photos um the only thing that i do not like about this tattoo is that it is so well hidden essentially it is a um <laughs> a half moon on our half moon so regardless of getting a matching tattoo with someone or not was planning on getting a moon in some fashion on me and i love that i was able to do it with jackson getting a matching tattoo with someone is a lot of pressure if we are friends 20 years from now or if we're not or whatever might happen I associate that tattoo with an amazing summer, with amazing adventures, and only positive things. I definitely would never get a matching tattoo with someone that I am romantic with in any fashion. The next two tattoos I got at the same time, I got them both when I was out in Salt Lake City. It was about two years after getting, I think it was two years after getting the moon, I got a dancer and I got the letter B. The B I had been planning for years and years. I always knew I wanted to get it. Originally I thought I would get it like across here, but I love this position here. I got them done on a trip out to Salt Lake to visit Jackson and my other friend Nick. I look at every single one of my tattoos every single day in the mirror and I smile at them and it just brings me so much joy. They're both exactly what I wanted and I love them so much. The dancers also won. Like, I mean, I'm going to say this for every single tattoo. Like, this is one that I've thought about getting for years and years, but like that's that's why I get them. That's why I'm so sure when I get them that I want them. The Fifth, I just had to count, oh. Um, the fifth and final tattoo that I got is this new one that I got this weekend. It says Skasha, which is my last name. Now, so like, getting your name tattooed on you is sort of a controversial topic. Same with like, you know, getting a matching tattoo with a boy. Um, but I love it. I think it's so pretty. I'm so happy with the way it turned out. Obviously it has a lot of meaning to it because it uh, is my last name. But also I don't think it's weird to get it because hopefully one day, most likely, let's speak into the universe. I will be getting married. Yes, that is true. Me, married. I am speaking to the universe so that way it happens. Tee hee hee. I figure I definitely would want to change my last name when I get married to whatever the last name is of the man I am marrying. And I figure I'm not gonna have my current last name forever. So it's like not that weird to get my name. Plus it's not like I got my first name, I got my last name. It's exactly what I wanted. Oh, I just realized I never talked about the bee that's on my arm. My mom and brother also have matching of it. It's my mom's handwriting and it is from a saying that she used to tell us every single day growing up. It's just a, like a really positive little symbol. Okay, thank you so much for watching. I hope you like it and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye! <laughs>